And let's start with my pure white Pomeranian. Her name is Whitey. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Whitey, say hi. Of course, I already. What's going on? Why are you barking? My other dogs are like barking. They're jealous. And everybody meets Spiky. He is an orange Pomeranian. I don't know why he's orange, but that's what the breeder said. So mm -hmm. here you go. Doesn't he look like an actual teddy bear? Like. Look at that. <laughs> hello. Say hi to everybody. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> They're actually really sleepy because it's like midnight now. But I'm disturbing them because I'm recording a video. <laughs> hello, everybody. <laughs> His head is like this, but the hair is like this. Yeah. And last but not the least, this is Chanel. Like the bag. Well, fun fact, actually the, the previous dogs, they're supposed to be named after the designer bags, but somebody in my family doesn't like it, so. Oh my god, they're so sleepy. disturbing them. Oh. <laughs> Say bye, bye. Hello everybody, welcome back. So for today's video, this is about me purchasing my teacup size Pomeranian in South Korea. But before anything else, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and then click the notification bell so that you would be notified of my upcoming videos. So of course, teacup size Pomeranians are always a dream of mine. Even before I purchase a regular size Pom, um, I want to show you here or here my current Poms right now. So just to refresh your mind, here's Pui and here's Nanya. So these are my current Pomeranians um, and then Pui is the, I don't know how, how you say this, but this is the regular sized Pom. You know, I think it's just small to medium size, not medium, but yes, I think small. But Nanya is like more of a foxy medium sized type of Pomeranian because she's way bigger than Pui. And then after a year of having Nanya, I think it's the right time already for me to buy a new puppy um, because I decided to, to become a professional breeder of Pomeranians and Pomskis as well. Um, oh, um, let me show you the current Huskies of mine. I'm still taking my time, of course, of educating myself when it comes to become a professional breeder because it's not easy. Uh, but the most important thing is that I love dogs. So I research and research about teacup sized Pomeranians um, that looks like a teddy bear. And I ended up to South Korea. <laughs> So in my Instagram, I added all the breeder accounts that I like, um, especially the breeders from, from South Korea, and I con contacted some of them and had conversations of 
of, of purchasing a puppy that I like. And please be aware of the fake accounts in Instagram because there are a lot of fake or scammers pretending to be a legit breeders in Instagram. So be cautious about it. Thank God that I trusted my gut and I received my puppies successfully. <laughs> and when it comes to pricing, of course, I already expected that they are going to be expensive. They range from 3000 to 5000 or even more, depending on the quality of the of the, uh, of the dog. And of course, the smaller they are, the expensive they are. So when I made a decision to, to pick a breeder, the breeder that I chose um, is actually the breeder that I'm skeptical with. Because compared to the other breeders, this breeder is like, it doesn't have, um, how do you call this? The favorite stories or stories that contains reviews of international buyer, bu buyers like me. So I'm like, oh my God, am I gonna believe this breeder? Oh my God, am I gonna trust my God? Um, but also the good side, the good side about this breeder is that this breeder has more has more um, has more followers than the other breeders that I want to choose. So um, I just really trusted my gut, and I can and I can see in the other photos that it's really legit, and the, the breeder is really good of like, of like replying to me and all. So so um, that made me feel comfortable. And of course, you have to make down payment right away in order for them to consider you really serious about buying a puppy from them and um, to save and reserve the puppy that you want as well. The breeder did not mention this to me perfectly. It is required for you to wait 10 days or 10 business days before you get your puppy after, after you made a down payment because of some restrict some restrictions due to coronavirus and due to the airline's new travel policy so um so yeah you really have to wait for about 10 days i don't know before the coronavirus happened what are the airline's um, restrictions are but for now you really have to wait 10 days and due to the pandemic uh, the destination airports are also limited um, in my case since i live in florida like i said um miami is the only available airport well initially my breeder chose la but thank god i i was able to intervene right away and clarify that i prefer miami because i live in florida so thank god so the day has finally arrived april 14 which is the date that i picked up my puppies the korean airlines or whatever airline it is that the that the breeder picked um, they will call you in advance you will receive like a, an email of instructions of um, where to go which terminal which address and um, how much to pay for for the tax I assume that that's the only thing that I'm going to do like paying tax online and then drove to Miami, get the puppies, get the paperwork, and boom, done. But no. And then we drove to Miami with my friend Carly. Hello everybody, I'm here to pick up my two puppies now. I'm so excited. So the Korean Airlines officer told me that I need a broker, but before I go to the broker, I must go to the customs office first because they will ask me questions about the puppy. Yeah, I went to the customs office and then they asked me a bunch of questions. How many Pomeranians I have? Um, do I usually purchase Pomeranians in South Korea or in United States? And then other questions like, how much did I pay for my puppies? And then finally, they told me and gave me a paper to go to this broker. Well, I went to the broker's office and then there he asked me questions again if it's my first time to purchase puppies in South Korea 
and then of course I said yes and blah 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 and then how much it is blah 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 he educated me that he must create a profile or an account of me to the government's system or the IRS system I don't know oh my god I think I'm just bluffing but yeah he needs to create an account for me uh, for my dog you know um, because the IRS will haunt me definitely I, I just waited I just waited and waited and then I paid the broker's fee which is like 200 something dollars I think $100 for each dog the broker contacted the customs officer again and then they communicated with their own language I just can't understand their terminologies but but yeah they're communicating blah 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 and so finally um, I went back to the um, um, airlines office and give them the papers of the release like release papers or something I was able to get my puppy successfully and the puppies are real they're not stuffed toy <laughs> or something like that because of course I'm, I'm, I'm really scared that the breeder is just faking around you know and then just took my money and then ran away <sighs> so um, so yeah that's my journey of buying my teacup size Pomeranians in South Korea um, I just can't believe that I went through hell just to get just for me to get them but yeah but it's all worth it um, I will show you pictures and videos how are they coping up to my house here and to our other dogs as well so I hope you enjoy those videos and pictures and see you on my next video. Bye-bye.